Hey everybody, so it's playoff time in the NHL. The regular season is over, playoffs start on Wednesday, and we have some great, great matchups in the first round this year. And what's, got, what's gonna be probably some very, very good matchups throughout the entire playoffs. But with the start of the playoffs brings us prediction time where I do this at the beginning of the regular season, do this before the playoffs where I try and predict what's going to happen. Um, my predictions are usually very wrong, as we found out last year. Um, my playoff predictions were way, way off last year. I had Washington losing in the first round to Columbus. They went on to win the Stanley Cup. So, obviously, take what I what I say. It's just a prediction. Take it with a grain of salt. It certainly is not a guarantee of what's going to happen. But uh, predictions are always fun to do. Um, and if you want to do predictions of your own... I do have an NHL Bracket Challenge League set up called Off the Wall Hockey. If you saw my last video, um, I, I did a video on that, announcing that. So the link to it is in the description of that video. And also, if you just go to NHL Bracket Challenge and search for the Off the Wall Hockey in leagues, it should come right up and be easy to find. It's open to the public. There's no password. Anyone can join. So hopefully you'll uh, join me there and uh, have some fun with predicting the playoffs this year. But um, it's time for me to do my official Stanley Cup playoff predictions. And my predictions are the same as my Bracket Challenge League that uh, yeah, I'm sticking with it. Um, that this is uh, I'm not going to deviate and have multiple predictions for the playoffs. This is what I'm going with. Now, I did when I first did my predictions, I... Um, I didn't like how they turned out. I basically ended up taking the top teams in everything, and there were no upsets. The conference finals were three out of the four same teams as last year. Uh, the only difference being instead of Vegas, I had San Jose there, but I still had Winnipeg, still had Tampa Bay, still had Washington. And I thought, you know what? The, the chances of What are the chances of that happening again? What are the chances of that much being the same? So I went back, I dug a little deeper, I thought about it a little bit more, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to pick some teams here that maybe people aren't picking, maybe are a bit of a surprise, but uh, I think that there's a bigger chance of there being a surprise in here than there is of things going almost exactly the same as they did last year. That's just not very likely. So... Here are the first round matchups that we have, and I'm going to go through and make my predictions now, um, and things may turn out a little bit different than you guys would have expected given the way I've been talking the last few weeks, and really even all season long. But uh, let's take a look here. We'll start in the West with Calgary versus Colorado, and this is a series that I really, really like. I like this a lot. I think this could be a really fun matchup, especially for a one versus wild card series. Um, now, I do have Calgary winning. I think Calgary is the better team. Find time for the marker not to want to work. Um, wow, I guess it really isn't. Oh, here we go. All right, Calgary. I do have Calgary, and I'll say... I do think Colorado can give them a series, though. I'm going to call that one in six games. I think Calgary do, or Colorado does push Calgary, and that ends up being a six-game series and should be a really fun one to watch. Um, San Jose versus Vegas, oh, I cannot wait for this. This is going to be a phenomenal first-round series. Um, I think this is, could be the best series of the entire first round. I absolutely have it going seven games. And I think San Jose pulls it off this this year. Last year, they met in the second round, and Vegas beat San Jose to go to the conference final last year. Um, this year, I think the Sharks get it done in a long, hard-fought seven-game series between division rivals that should be a really, really fun series to watch and one of the best of the first round. Um, now we get to the Central Division here. And Nashville is playing Dallas. Nashville surged at the end of the year to win the division. Winnipeg kind of fell flat on their face towards the end of the year and blew their division lead. So now, rather than having Nashville versus St. Louis in the first round and Winnipeg versus Dallas, which is honestly what I wanted, we have Nashville versus Dallas and Winnipeg versus St. Louis. 
So I do have Nashville beating Dallas. Uh, no offense to the Dallas Stars or their fans, but Dallas is the epitome of what I think a one and done team looks like. I think you know they're they're good enough to make the playoffs, but they're not going anywhere in the playoffs. Um, I'll give them six games because Nashville has not been overly impressive this year or dominant. Um, so I'll give them six games. I think Dallas can can force six, but Nashville is absolutely going to win that series. Um, and then Winnipeg and St. Louis, I think this is going to be another really, really fun matchup. A really long and drawn out series um, between two very even teams. St. Louis has played so well the second half of the season. Winnipeg really hasn't. Um, they haven't been overly impressive over the last month or so. I do think Winnipeg pulls it out, though, although I do, you know, I was, um, St. Louis absolutely can win this series, and I'm not going to pick them to, but I would not be surprised if the Blues do win this series. I'm going to stick with Winnipeg, though, because I've been high on Winnipeg all year long. However, this series absolutely goes seven games. That is a seven-gamer, without a doubt, in my mind. Um, two very, very evenly matched teams. Moving over to the east, we have Tampa Bay and Columbus, and I'm not even going to take time on this. Obviously, this Tampa Bay, and I'm not going to call a sweep. I'll say five games. I'm not going to call a sweep on that, although Tampa Bay could, I think, very easily sweep that series. Um, Boston versus Toronto. Now, if you've been watching th this channel for at, you know at all this year, you know how I feel about this. Uh, and I'm sticking to it. I'm absolutely sticking to it. Boston in five games over Toronto. Listen, Toronto, sure, they have a high-powered offense that can score a ton of goals. But defense wins in the playoffs, and Toronto has no defense. Their goaltending is decent with uh, Freddie Anderson, but he's gonna he's absolutely left hung out to dry most of the time. Toronto's defense is a joke. Um they have absolutely zero toughness and zero grit in their lineup. They are not built to win in the playoffs. They are not built for big boy hockey. I think they're going to get run out of the building and then run out of the series by Boston. And uh, I think it's going to be Boston in five. Toronto will win one of their home games, but that will be it. Um, Boston moves on to play Tampa Bay in the second round for the second straight season after beating Toronto. Last year, it took them seven. I think they do it in five this year. Uh, Toronto just is not built for the playoffs. Uh, now, Washington and Carolina. This one, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm very happy that the Carolina Hurricanes made the playoffs. I'm happy for their fans. I'm happy for the team. They ended the longest playoff drought in the league. They hadn't made it since 2009. They made it now in 2019. However, they have to play the defending Stanley Cup champions in the first round. Washington's going to win that series. And I'm going to say, wow, I didn't even realize this until now, but all these Eastern Conference series I have at five games, I have this one at five as well. Um, I think Washington t you know, will pretty easily handle the Carolina Hurricanes. Washington's just a bigger and better team and, and more playoff experience as well. So it's nice to see Carolina in the postseason, but I don't think they're going to last very long. And then finally, the New York Islanders versus Pittsburgh. In this this series, um, I think, is going to be really interesting to watch. And I think I'm going to surprise some of you with my pick here. It seems like Pittsburgh and Washington meet every year in the playoffs. This is where I think the surprise comes in. I'm going with the Islanders. I'm taking the New York Islanders in six games over Pittsburgh. And New York has just had such an unbelievably good season. They're the best defensive team in the league. They give up the fewest goals in the league. And Pittsburgh, to me, this year, just something has been off with them. Something. This is not your typical Penguins team. I've been saying that all year long. I think something is just a little bit off with them. The goaltending is inconsistent. There are times where it is Stanley Cup level goaltending and, and just unbelievably good. And then there are stretches where it is downright awful. And their defense, I think, leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I think there are definite holes on the back end with this team. I don't think they're as deep offensively as they have been in the past. I just... I think this is the year that Pittsburgh gets knocked out in the first round. It's going to be a great defensive, well-coached team in, with the Islanders that do it. And um, 
I don't think, little sneak preview here to the future, I don't think the Islanders are done. So, second round now, Calgary versus San Jose. This, this division rivalry, really, really fun matchup, but I just don't trust Calgary going. Listen, San Jose was in the Stanley Cup final just a few years ago. Calgary, I don't trust their goaltending. I don't trust them to, you know, get past the second round. I have the San Jose Sharks going to the conference final. And I'm not going to do ga number of games for the anything beyond the first round because too much can happen. We can have injuries. We can have, um, you know, just a lot of different things happen that could make a series closer than it should be or f not as close as it should be. But I'm taking San Jose to move on to the Western Conference Final. And I think this year I'm taking Nashville. Nashville is, and I just, you know, if you, up until this past week, I, Winnipeg was my Stanley Cup pick. I thought Winnipeg was going to the Stanley Cup final and, and going to win the Stanley Cup. But you know what? Nashville has the experience. Nashville, um, I think they were disappointed getting knocked out in the second round last year. Nashville did not have an overly impressive regular season this year, but they surged at the end to win the division. They are going into the playoffs on a hot streak and they won the, you know, I think that winning of the division really, really will boost them going into the playoffs. All of a sudden, now they are have home ice in that second round series as opposed to Winnipeg having home ice. I think playing in Smashville will make a huge difference. Um, I, I, I see Nashville doing it, pulling it off. I think a lot of people are, have been more down on the Predators this year and up on Winnipeg. And I think that is when Nashville strikes. When you don't really have the expectations for them, when you think they're going to lose, they'll find a way to win. And I just, I love that veteran team. I love the trade deadline moves that they made, bringing in Brian Boyle, bringing in Wayne Simmons, guys with playoff experience, guys who are winners, guys who know how to play playoff physical hockey. Um, I think Nashville is built for it. So I have Nashville knocking off Winnipeg, and I would not have had that. Even three or four days ago, I would not have had that. That's one of the biggest changes I've made in my, my predictions. Um, moving over to the East, Tampa Bay versus Boston. I've been saying this all season long. Boston is a very good team. They're going to blow through Toronto, but they will not get by Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay will go on to the conference final again. They're just they're just better than the Boston Bruins. They are better than Boston, and they're gonna win that series. My surprises continue because I have the New York Islanders knocking off the Washington Capitals. The Islanders are my surprise team this year. I think there's going to be a surprise this year. Otherwise, I would have ended up with um, you know pretty much the same teams in the conference final again, and I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna see some changes. The Islanders, to me, are going to be a big change. At this point, I think Winnip Washington is kind of out of gas after the long playoff they had last year, a, you know, another full season this year. Then they play a Carolina team in the first round. I think the Islanders give them a really, really hard-fought series. It probably goes seven, but I really think that the Islanders have a chance to make a huge splash and knock off the defending Stanley Cup champs, mostly because I do not think Washington is repeating as Stanley Cup champion. So I think they're going to get knocked out. For me, it's the second round against a very, very good defensive Islanders team. And if there's any team to knock off Washington, it is the New York Islanders because they have an answer physically for Washington, they have a great physical fourth line with Matt Martin, Casey Sezikis, and Cal Clutterbuck. Um, they have guys who can directly stand up to Tom Wilson physically. Um, they have Scott Mayfield, who's a tough guy on the back end. Johnny Boychuk can play physical hockey if he needs to. They're a team that can stand up to Washington physically. They also have some very, very good top players, guys like Matt Barzal, Anders Lee, Anthony Bovillier, uh, Jordan Eberle, Josh Bailey, they Brock Nelson. They have a lot of offense there. They also have pretty tough top players. You know, Anders Lee is not going to get pushed around in the playoffs. Brock Nelson is not going to get pushed around. You know, these guys are willing to play playoff-style hockey. And um, I think that really bodes well for the New York Islanders. 
So now we have the conference finals set. I have San Jose versus Nashville as the Western Conference Final, and Tampa Bay versus the Islanders as the Eastern Conference Final. Nashville, I think, goes to the Stanley Cup. They were just there a couple of years ago. They're going to do it again because they're not expected to this year. I think a lot of people are picking Winnipeg this year. It's been Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Winnipeg. San Jose's gotten a lot of love out west. I think that is when Nashville strikes, and Nashville ends up back in the Stanley Cup final. They won't be playing Pittsburgh this time like they did in 2017. They will be playing the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Islanders, listen, I think they have a great run. They have some great defense. Two goaltenders that have had tremendous years, even though they're not necessarily big-name goaltenders. But then you run to the juggernaut that is the Tampa Bay Lightning. And Tampa Bay, listen, this is the year that if they're going to do it, they have to do it because they are losing a lot of depth players. They don't have a lot of cap space. They have a lot of depth players with contracts up at the end of this year. They have even more players with contracts up at the end of next or the end of next season. Um, if Tampa Bay is going to win the Stanley Cup, this is the year that they need to do it. So I have them making it to the Stanley Cup Finals, where they will play the Nashville Predators for the Stanley Cup. Uh, in May and into June, and but as, as I picked the Stanley Cup final, President's Trophy winners do not win the Stanley Cup. I am not going with Tampa Bay. I think your Stanley Cup champion, kind of unexpectedly in 2019, is the Nashville Predators. They have Pecorine in goal who's coming to the end of his career. He needs one last Stanley Cup push to try and get him a Stanley Cup before he retires. They have a veteran team, an experienced team. I think they're going to find some offense. Listen, offense is a big question with them, but if, if Wayne Simmons can get scoring, if they can get secondary scoring from guys like Colton Sessions and um, Brian Boyle and those type of guys, they can get enough from Victor Arvidsson and Philip Forsberg and Ryan Johansson, their top players, to do it. I think Nashville pulls it off this year and wins the Stanley Cup over the Tampa Bay Lightning. And Tampa Bay once again makes it to a cup final but cannot close the deal. And that would, you know, 62 win team presence trophy just don't have enough to make it all the way. And I have Tampa losing to Nashville in the final. Those are my Stanley Cup predictions. I'm probably wrong. I usually am. But those are the ones I'm sticking with. And whether I'm right or wrong, it's going to be a tremendous playoffs. It's going to be a whole lot of fun to watch. And I think we're going to get to see some really great hockey and some really great matchups. So those are my predictions. If you want to do yours, join the NHL Bracket Challenge League. Search Off the Wall Hockey and Leagues. It will come right up. Public League open to everybody. And fill out your bracket. Disagree with me. Agree with me. Whatever you want. And we'll see who's more correct come playoff time in the end of june but with that thank you guys so much for watching like comment share subscribe follow on social media all those links are in the description below if you'd like to further support the channel the links to our patreon and merchandise store are in the description as well keep spreading the word about this channel let's keep this thing growing thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you guys soon